Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for uh, clicking in on my review of What If Episode 1 um, with Captain Carter. I mean, this episode was uh, a great entry to the What If series. Um, and I had, a f I had a few people actually ask me if I would do reviews for these, and I'm totally down. Um, you guys are joining me at uh, 358 AM. I just got done watching the show probably about 30 minutes ago and I wrote down a few notes. Um, there will be spoilers in, in my review. If you're on the internet at all during Marvel shows, you know that like if you don't watch them and stay off the internet until or until you see it, it's it's going to get spoiled for you. So I want to start off with uh, the pros for this episode. I feel like the animation style. I was not sure about it uh, at the be at the like the beginning of like the announcement of what if. Um, you know, it's it's a little hard for me to get into animation. Uh, there's a very specific type of animation that I enjoy, but this one. Uh, I love it. I love the uh, the realism you can see in the faces when people are going through like emotions, like when she's fighting, when Peggy Carter is fighting people, you can see like the ferocity on her face. When she's going through an emotional moment, you can really see that um, on her face as well. So I feel like the animation is, is great. I love like the um, realism, but also you can tell it's uh, an animated show still. So animation was great. The second pro I have is definitely I, I enjoyed the the Watcher character at the beginning. He has like this monologue where he's explaining uh, what what if is um, and it's voiced by Jeffrey Wright. And I just think he does an amazing job. And I think that character is going to be really cool throughout this series, um, especially since some of these shows um, are hitting on movies that we haven't. I mean, at least I haven't watched in a while, like Captain America First Avenger. I haven't watched it in a couple years now, probably. Um, so I think that's cool that, you know, he, throughout the show, he's narrating little parts that really, as someone, you know, that's not super into Marvel, it, uh, like, hints you back at the show. Like, there's a a point right at the beginning where Peggy makes the choice to stay in the room during the super soldier serum uh, like initiation for Steve and in the movie uh, she doesn't so right at that moment he says uh, this like changes the course of uh, her destiny forever type thing um, so yeah, I thought the Watcher character is uh, really cool and I'm really excited to see uh, the continuation of that character throughout the What If series. The third thing that I really enjoyed about the episode is the voice cast that came back. I know that not everyone... Uh is coming back for their characters, but Haley Atwell plays Peggy Carter, Sebastian Stan plays Bucky, Stanley Tucci's in it, uh, Dominic Cooper plays Stark, um, and then at the end of the episode you see uh, Nick Fury and Hawkeye, and they are of course voiced by Samuel L. Jackson and Jeremy Renner, so I think that the voice cast that they brought back is great, especially for this episode when um, Peggy, well, Haley Atwell has, you know, such a recognizable voice for Peggy Carter. It would be a little hard to not have her in it, I think. But yeah, the voice cast is great. Another pro that I have for this episode is I really did enjoy the story. Um, it's... It, not good. it's extremely similar to Captain America the First Avenger, obviously. It's supposed to be. Um... But I did like some of the changes that they made. Um, so it's not like a 100% copy. I did like how they hinted on like her struggle with being a woman during a wartime period. I think that's something that um, although Captain America in the first Avenger movie struggled with being like the small scrawny guy who was like gung ho on fighting for America. I liked how in this it's shown from a different perspective. Um, I know Peggy had a great role in the MCU before, but I think that this just really brings like another layer to the character of, you know, it's similar to uh, Wonder Woman in one, the first Wonder Woman film where, you know, she's constantly being told no because she's a woman and she's constantly being told that she can't be in the room uh, because she's a woman, even though she's the most capable person for the job. Um, and especially... Peggy Carter. She took the super soldier serum. Like she is 
the most capable person in the room. I really also did enjoy the fight scenes in this episode. I think it was awesome. Like, obvious, I love a chick with a shield obviously <laughs> so to see uh like when she suits up for the very first time because um stark gives her a uh suit that he says was supposed to be for her like you know her tour the same tour that uh captain america goes on i feel like um definitely peggy utilizes the shield a little bit more than steve does and um it's incredible i you know i love hearing like the sound of vibranium when she's like throwing the shield or when she's like literally hitting trucks and like catapulting them there's a lot of like casualties in this show but it's hydra so you know who cares to be honest another pro that i have is steve rogers role in this episode it is it's really awesome to still see that um steve has a place in this story um and it is it's vastly different from uh peggy's role i feel like in captain america the uh, first avenger he has like this suit that's made for him and it's like this huge uh this huge like mech suit that he goes and fights with and there's cool montages of Peggy and uh Steve fighting together with this and it's it's great it's uh I like how they didn't change Steve uh at all like with his um ambition to like fight and end the war he still has that regardless of you know being a super soldier or not um and I thought that was um a really great character trait that they they kept one of the cons that I have um, is sometimes I feel like just because it's animated, sometimes like the the humor doesn't really hit that well, which, you know, it's it's animated. So it's it, it is a little bit harder because it doesn't come off as as natural, um, I feel like. So there were spots. There are some great jokes in here, uh, like when Peggy is helping um Peggy is helping Bucky back onto the train and he says oh you almost ripped my arm off that was pretty that was funny um but yeah sometimes the the humor does fall a little flat uh another con that I have is they didn't really flesh out uh Red Skull that much in this episode if you were someone that didn't know anything about Red Skull going into this episode you're not gonna know really anything you know new other than like he's in Hydra and he's like you know, a bad guy. Uh, that's obviously it's it's a one episode in a series, so they can't get too into it. I wish they would have spent a little bit more time on that. I feel like he was a little underutilized in this, and um, it would have been cool to see maybe a little bit more um, focus on him because you pretty much you see him, you see Hydra, you know they're together, but like you don't really go too much more into who he is or why he's doing what he's doing. One of the last cons I have is I felt like there was a lot of like lulls in the episode. Um, the action was great. The, the character moments were great. Um, but I'm kind of having a hard time remembering like other than like the big action pieces and like the more heartfelt moments. Um, it's hard for me to remember kind of like, what happened once you get towards the end of the episode like the big conflicts i feel like it gets over um so quickly like they're literally fighting like a big like it's an octopus and like the it just gets over so quickly like they get they they kill it so quickly and you know the test they get the tesseract and then peggy goes into this portal her and steve have a sweet moment about um the dance uh he says you still owe me a dance and she says oh uh, saturday and then she goes through this portal pops out through the portal and there's nick fury and hawkeye standing there and she asks where steve is and he says uh you know it's been 70 years and that's kind of where the episode ends off on. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see uh, more of what is going to happen with this What If series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked this review, let me know in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!